Hey you lovely lads, if you are following me along, I'm Leanne and today is Wednesday and I am on a weight loss journey. I am going to Slim World, that's what I do, but it's not really like, oh, it's all about Slim World because I have, I just want to lose weight and I don't really care how I'm doing it and if I can maybe connect with other people one day while I'm on my journey, then that would be fantastic. If not, I'm quite happy just to run away and just have this as my little story and what I'm doing. So the day today is Wednesday and it is pre-Slimming World Day, um, pre-Wayne Day, and I have woke up this morning and I am feeling anxious as hell. Um, I am working today. Today is my sister's birthday. So this morning for her birthday present, I have got her a little present. I bought a, a tebik bag and I've bought like a little pin badge um, just so she's got something to open. But I'm going to do a hair today and spend the day. Well, most of the day we are. I am working late tonight. Um, which I'm I'm alright about. I quite enjoy what I do. Works not really much of an issue. Um, what is an issue is if you've been following me along, you know what I'm going on about. Is where it is tomorrow, and I am feeling anxious as hell. So two weeks ago, I got on the scales and I did have a week off. Don't get me wrong, but I didn't actually like gorge like a ridiculous. Well, I must have. I've obviously like done something wrong. But I got weighed and in one week I put on 14 pound and a half. Like I didn't even think that was physically possible. I Like even if I'd had takeaway for breakfast, dinner and tea. And I keep harping on about it because it's massively on my mind. Like I, don't get me wrong, I'm not crying and I'm not being dramatic about it. Like it is completely, sorry I'm freezing. It is what it is and it's just part of this thing that I'm doing and I've just got to suck it up. Um, I thought my sister was here. Um, but I am feeling a little bit, I don't know, I'm just scared to get back on the scales. So last week I went to Slimming World, but I flat refused to get weighed because it was almost like no matter what them scales said, I would have had a bit of a wobble because it would have been like reliving the stern issue again because now I feel like like, I look at my weight, because I don't really look loads better, and I ain't got, like, a lot to focus on. I do concentrate on the scales, and I have those as a focus. Um, if I got on the scales, and, it, like, I'm not going to have lost a stone in a week. So no matter what they said, I was going to be, like, really disappointed. So I thought, right, well, I think weight loss is a massive, like, head thing. I'm feeling quite focused. I'm back on track. And if I just don't get on the scales, it's almost like ignorance is bliss. So just leave it there just while you get your head like back into it. So since then, I have put some measures in place, which I'm going to show you about, that have put me back on track and I'm feeling good again. I'm fine. I did have time of the month. Um, that was horrendous. Um, I'm now free from that, which I'm feeling so much better because I literally, my moods and my patience level was zero and I felt miserable. I was just crying all the time. Um, my period's all getting worse. I don't know whether it's because I'm getting older and I'm heading towards the change or what. I mean, the curve, well, don't get me wrong. I'm not being dramatic, but I'm just freezing today. Um, so it's like I am back on track, period's done and let's go another month of like, heading onto this so there's only like four wanes i think till christmas now um i did set myself i wanted to get my seven stone award by the time it was christmas i don't think that's gonna happen do you do you mean like me you've got a stone to kick away so i've kind of just forgot about that and just thought right we'll hit that again later i'll set another like countdown after christmas i think i think just concentrating on being on plan now and not like there's loads of events coming up isn't there and it has got me thinking that this is going to be a really challenging time and I do still want to stick on this and I'm not saying I won't have days off and go and have like meals and eat and Christmas day you've got no chance of me counting calories or anything or points or anything um I'm just going to enjoy Christmas but I am conscious that it's so easy to you know, like with sweets and chocolates and 
all the extra stuff that's around to eat crap and think oh it's fine it's fine and i do not want another gain i am like now in debt so i need to pay back that stern that i put on um i'm consciously trying to drink more water i really do need to be a lot more active um i'm being a lot more conscious and planned on what i'm eating and one of the things that i've put in place to keep me on track is off of vintage can i as well and i this is not a paid promotion this is just what i'm doing and this is what helps helping me and i'm putting it on here because one i like to look back on it but secondly do you know if this just helps somebody else and this do you know, like somebody else that's struggling like good i hope i do help somebody because weight loss is a nightmare do you know my hair at a minute these front bits are doing my head in. Look at that. I'm going to have to cut into them. They're gross, aren't they? Anyway. Um, so, I have bought myself a lovely planner. Um, it's a fabulous organiser. And I got it off Vinted really cheap, actually. It cost me, I think, £7. Um, but you can get them from fabulousplanning.com. But get yourself on Vinted. You get some right bargains. Um, I it's a planner and it's a Slimming World one and I write down what I have for breakfast, dinner, tea and snacks, healthy A's and B's. It's um, also got water, movement, oh my god what's that? Water, oh your fruit and veg, your movement and your sleep. Oh I didn't know I had sleep down there, I've not been filling that in. I've only started doing it so I'm still learning. Um, you can put notes on your day, there's little stickers to put on if you're on plan. The amount of steps and stairs that you do um, and your sins like has got a cross off here of how many are allowed and I'm filling this out um, don't get me wrong I have got it on my phone but I don't know I like stationery and writing it down makes me a lot more conscious than just scanning and putting it on my phone although that does work I'm not saying it doesn't but I just like a diary and I like a few stickers and pens and so knowing that I have bought some extra stickers to go in it because I like to do that. These are the stickers that you get on the front, like achievements and fabulous and on plan. What has been good, oh, there's like a weight loss jar. Um, what has been good is that it's got this A to Z about me that you have to fill in about all the good things about you. Um, I will probably read you that one day, but I'm not, I'm not about that just right now. Um, there's your start and your end goal and a little bit of a positive affirmation and like you can put your end bit in there um favorite food menu so you can put what you like to eat so it gives you an idea when you're feeling uninspired what is brilliant is oh them them are weighing days on what i weighed and there's like a chart like this is all about me i'm just gonna put it down while i show you because it's hard doing it like that um i think i just skipped a few places Oh, I wrote myself a positive letter. It's like a letter to yourself. Um, I'm also trying to personally develop also, so it's quite good for me to do that. Something that I've never done before, which I keep thinking I'm going to do, and then I never, ever, ever get round to it, is my measurements. So I've took those on week one, and you write them down, and it goes across the top in different places. Um, and then you do it on week three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and 15. So I think that's pretty cool to do. Um, dream catcher, so like little goals or what I want to achieve. So like my first one is achieve my seven stern award and you just fill that in. Sleep tracker, which I've not got up to date with. Uh, treat tracker to see when you're being really naughty. There is an activity tracker, a habit former, um, different recipes. There's like a 12 week countdown that you can do each week that you stick on plan. And then obviously you're back to like your week one. Um, it does like a weekly rewind, positive experiences, negatives, and how I can repeat positive or improve negative experience for you to take it through to the next week. Um, upcoming week at a glance, like anything you've got going on and what you fancy eating, you can plan in there. And then it says catch a breath. This section is your peanut goals. So like little goals. Um, bite-sized chunks of what you want to achieve in that week and obviously this is me filling it in and sticking little stickers on and doing my thing um i i, I am honestly this is what i'm filling out and this is what's gonna keep me on track because 
like it's making me plan and I hate writing stuff in it that is naughty um, and I, I don't lie either so everything I eat I do put down in there and drink because I'm trying to increase my water intake oh, I've got a lovely gold pen as well rose gold pen to go with it so everything I eat and drink I am putting in there um, I'm putting activity in and I'll update my sleep and stuff and have a look at that um, however because I don't want to write anything in it that I've got to look at and think, oh, fuck, I really screwed up on that day. It's really keeping me on track. And I'm quite, I'm quite okay about that. I think that's really positive. I like, I like, I like it. So if you're struggling and you've been on this a while, this is, I do recommend. But do you know what I do recommend? Get on Vinted. Go on Vinted. There's one called Princess Planning, I think, as well, that's literally the same. So if that's something that you're into and you're a bit weird and anal like me, then get on Vinted and go and get yourself a planner because, like, I just love carrying this round. It's, it's quite big. They do smaller ones, but I like a substantial diary. Um, and it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like made it special again and it's made it new again and... It has refocused me and rather than me sat there being manic depressive about like putting a stone on, it's it's made me actually okay this week and it's made me stick on like on plan. I have got a planned day off coming up here on Friday. Um it's my sister's birthday today, so we're taking her out on Friday as well to Akbar's, which God, I don't know what I'm going to do because I kind of just want to stick on this and not have, like, I will write it down and, like, I'm literally stressing out about writing that <gasps> down. But I suppose if I make it up on other days and cut down on my points, I should, sins, whatever they are, I should be all right. Um, have I told you it's freezing? I'm absolutely freezing. Um, yeah, other than that, it, this is just, like, a quick catch-up on my day. Um, I've made myself a beautiful salad for dinner. Um, I am just going to plod on with my day and re I, do you know what as well the day before weigh day I always reduce the amount of carbs that I eat so I weigh a bit lighter or in my head that's what it does whether it does or not regardless of what you think if that's in my head and I get a day where I just eat speed and protein and it's like I pull it back that's a win for me so if I want that in my head I think that's a good thing um, my Christmas shopping's nearly all done. Um, I've got a few bits to get. Um, and it's only November. It's the first... It's like going into December, isn't it, this week? Um, my little bit of like anxiety that's coming on now is to wear or not to wear. So eventually I'm going to have to wear. <coughs> I know I'm going to. Um, I'm in a really good place at the minute. And because I felt so rubbish after putting on a stern in a week... Um, I'm not going to lie, I've got like a bit of a phobia and I don't really want to get weird. But then my little stubborn mind um, doesn't like to be defeatist. So in my head I'm thinking to myself, tough, just go and get weird because you've obviously got an issue with that and I do like to push myself out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to get weird this week, but there is a part of me that thinks, oh, don't do it and then we'll just start getting weird again in December. But then there's also a part of me that thinks, mm, yeah, but Leanne, if you get weird in December, you'll just want to put it off. Um, you're never going to really be that chuffed and happy with what's going on in December. So overall, I'm feeling a little bit conflicted. I'm not going to lie, but we got this. Um, actually, do you know what? Just I've been saying that now. as I'm, This is why I record these videos, because they do make me think about things and actually put stuff into perspective. I'm going to get weird on Thursday. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to get weird. I'm going to brave it. And I'm going to get weird. So tomorrow there will be a new video with my Wayne update. And hopefully if I've got somebody to rant to, then I might not break down into manic depressive and eat everything inside. Win-win. Think thin.